This is the Doctor continuing the Battle Brothers Witchers playthrough. We're at Dinko's Mart at day 99. Um, I promise a special challenge at day 100. Uh, but I might have to delay that to day 101 because there were three contracts here at Dinko's Mart that I really want to do. Two of which are three skulls. I want to finish the regular part of this campaign with uh, some three skull contracts. Uh, even if they are against brigands and quite frankly beneath us. Uh, and then there's a one skull contract to escort caravan to Durfest, which I want to do because it allows me to roll some more famed items. I kind of want to see what sort of famed items I can get. So I hope viewers will forgive me for starting the special challenge a little late, but we'll see. Let's begin by following these tracks and killing the small group of brigands. Come on. 20. <gasps> Master Archer. That looks like a ton of fun. All right, let's see. I'm going to put my archers in the front because I am not afraid. Uh, who else? Zed can move back a little bit. They do have a Master Archer, though, which is, um, ah, what are we worried about? There's nothing to be worried about. Master Archer. Ooh, a heavy crossbow. I could use that. Might take a big shot here, but as soon as we get someone up to the Master Archer, it's over. Baltimore. Let's, uh, let's see what they do. They love shooting Sullius, but he can't hit. Sixty percent. I'll take those odds. Well done, Pendant. Let's see if they move any of their other guys out. Ooh, I want that guy's helmet. Sigma the Mad. I want another one of those helmets. The uh, closed, closed male coif. And I apple, double drill, kill. You might get yourself on the high ground, not sure yet. Raul, move up, split. And your turn immediately, buddy. Clogan over. Go from weights. Longo weights. Then move up, go for the puncture. Sorry, Lancel. Move up. Go for the attacks. Oh, that Master Archer wants to shoot Zed. How adorable. What a cute little archer. Aw, isn't he cute, everyone? Capito. Start working on him. Talia's move up here. Try to break. Want to try to get on that archer as fast as possible. Oh my god, Baldemar. Just start destroying fools. Oh, incredible. Okay, can you do the trifecta? Well, this one, if I hit, has a good chance of killing. This one's 83, though. Let's do the 83. Three shots, three kills. The Dark Archer is truly... The greatest sniper. That was that was a magician. Okay, only a magician could have pulled off a move that pro. And then you may not be a dark archer, but you know how to use all your weapons. Swap to the bill hook and give that brigand a bonk in the noggin. Man now apple, <laughs> throw your javelin. You can crush that brigand right in the head. Javelin to the face. Oh, so beautiful. Lilgen, uh, move up. Wolfram, buddy. Come there. Longo, put some pressure on these remaining fools. Sir Lancel, swing and kill. Wait. Talius, well done, buddy. 
move up on that master archer just wait capito why don't you go for the stun good wait on zed that's okay these brigands can do whatever they want ow including shoot wolfram ow another shot on wolfram all right, that's enough. Baltimore does not take any of that nonsense from these brigands. 88%. Right in the head again. Baltimore is so pro. I've never met a sniper this pro. I love it. Ah, oh, th this is so much fun. I'm having far more fun with this than any sort of legendary location fight. Everybody is just performing at top-notch uh, skill. Doing just a fantastic job. Breaking fools and crushing morale. Midnight Apple. Wait. Now their entire line is broken, except for that one raider in the middle. That poor bastard. Master Archer didn't even really get to do anything except shoot Zed. Hopefully you get his crossbow. All right, well, this... Uh, you know what, Zed? You might as well get his armor, because why not? But this battle is over. Fun little battle. We took one hit on Sullius and some hits on Wolfram, but it's okay. Uh, got the closed Mo Mayo Coif and the red shield. I like it. And the uh, heavy crossbow. Wow, this is a super profitable fight for us. All right, I don't even care about the pay. If I could do this for free, I would. Back to town. All right, turning my contract and now I'm immediately at the Mossy Runes. It's gonna be brigands. Maybe it'll be that uh, contract of bounty hunters. That'd be fun. Let's put Kyle in. He hasn't had any chance to have fun. Solius, you've done so much work for us. Let's put in um, Igor. Still need to level up Wolfram and our Witch Hunters, so they have to stay back. Capito. Um, Capito and Zed are such a good pair. Something like this, I'm thinking. Oh, you know what? Um, Doc Morphine doesn't have enough time to come out and play, so let's field him. Alright, let's do it! Twenty-six brigands, including several leaders. I don't think they have a mess archer. Is there, I really wanted to fight a hedge knight, but it's okay. Are they gonna turtle or not? We'll find out. Oh, there's three leaders, including one with a warhammer. Oh, don't shoot, Igor. All right, they're gonna turtle, huh? Is that a noble sword? That'd be awesome if it were. Yep. I don't see a hedge knight. I do see a whole bunch of guys whose armors I want, not because I need them, but because it'd be fun. So this is a kind of an interesting battle. To dagger down all three of these guy uh, leaders. Okie doke. Let's begin by moving Zed here. Whoa, look at their numbers, huh? I could put Sir Lanzo up. But he would have a hard time daggering some of these fools. I think Sir Lanza would do better in the middle. Baltimore. 89%. Good work. You didn't kill that raider, but you destroyed his armor and inflicted two injuries. Alright, they're gonna shoot us. 23%. That's less impressive, Pendant. I don't want them to rush up on me. Pendant, going. 
Don't shoot, Zed. Especially not in the head. Can't believe how rude that is. Buddy, park yourself here. We're just gonna wait. Otherwise, we start moving people in. Gonna put Doc Morphine back here for a sneaky surprise. All right, Sir Lanto, get in there. Teach these clowns what your famed or your legendary sword can do. This one's gonna run. So we're just gonna put Zed over here to block, and then we're gonna move up uh, Capito. Start working on some of these clowns. Now they're gonna rush us. Igor, buddy! Your armor is getting wrecked! He's going to rotate like that. This one's going to come up on Pendant. That is perfectly okay. I actually want them to go up on Pendant. Sir Lanso, why would you even panic? There's nothing to panic about. Odomar, get that fool with the long axe. And shoot this one with the two-handed hammer. Yep, that's what I expected. Oh! You think you got Pendant? He's got an arsenal of weapons, buddy! Wow, oh, swinging a hit. Good. Wait on the Witch Hunter. They just... I don't know what is their obsession with moving next to Zed. I do not understand. This is like... Oh. Kyle. Good job, buddy. What are these guys going to do? Longo, swap to the dagger. Start helping Zed out. This guy's shield walling, huh? I might actually... Uh, breaking the shield, it won't work. It's a kite shield. Like, it's one of the few times I would consider going for the break. Doc Morphine, move up to the high ground. Zed, how could you miss that? Well, you don't miss where it counts. Well, that's what matters. Igor, buddy, you also have a dagger. So let's use it. Hunter up. Hmm. I need to put Wolfram somewhere where he's more useful. Alright, good job, Sir Lancel. Causing all sorts of morale problems. Capital, swap to your dagger. Double stab, break. Zed, buddy, you know what to do. These brigands don't know what's going on. Except they love to shoot our witch hunter for whatever reason. Baldemar, buddy. We could go for the archers, but I kind of want to wait and see if we get a better opportunity somehow. Pendant, if you move up, you unfortunately can only use the bow, but the bow might be good enough. Igor? And you turn immediately with those stabs. Raoul? Don't get hit, buddy. Buddy? 
wait. Longo, ah, uh, he didn't manage to kill. Wolfram swapped a dagger. Didn't manage to kill. Kyle, you don't have a dagger in the pocket. Dark Morphing, bash that fool down. This one's gonna run, so you're gonna run down, make sure he can't recover. We managed to cut down that brigand leader. Hopefully I get his armor. Not because it's something I want. Well, I want it. And not because I need it. Uh, but because, you know. Why not? Oh, well done, Baldemar of the Headshot. Let's uh, see if you can't snipe another one. Well, you still managed to kill a marksman. Even though it wasn't the target I was... Hoping for, but Pendant, maybe you can do it. Pendant's a pro, what can we say? And another swing. Now we move Raul up on the high ground. Uh, we're gonna move our Witch Hunter over, swap to the dagger. Good. Move up to break. Good. Doc Morphine, uh, why don't you stay put, buddy? Sir Lanso. Swap to your dagger and get ready to puncture that leader. Capito is going to wait as well. Zed, you're actually going to swap to the Great Axe to do more damage. Sir Lancel, 12% dodge. Well done. Oh, he thinks he can get Baldemar? That fool. Igor swapped to the Cleaver. Pendant move up. Use the Bill Hook. Kyle. Do your thing. Alright, I'm just waiting turn a lot because as they run, they're all going to get cut down. So go for the puncture. It's actually kind of hard to get that last bit of armor. We need to free up this position. Dead. Capite and move up. Igor. Let's see if we can't block them. I mean, this fight's over. It's just me farming armor. So I'm going to make a cut here. That was a pretty crazy fight. Uh, it's hard to avoid damage when you're fighting this many enemies, but uh, took some damage on Igor, Raul, Zed, and our Witch Hunter. Dagger down all the enemies, but couldn't get perfect surrounds. It's really hard when there are so many. Uh, let me pick out the best loot here. All right, definitely a nice fight. There's a lot of loot I can't pick up, but that's to be expected. Uh, you know, these are brigands and we're witchers. We don't show mercy. All right, back to town. I'm going to go back to town, sell stuff, do some inventory management, the usual boring stuff. All right, turns out, Dinko Smart, that one skull escort caravan contract went away. So, looks like I'll be able to keep my day 100 promise after all. But you'll have to find out in the next episode. I really liked uh, these last two three skull contracts. That was a perfect way to end the campaign. These uh, big brigand fights, they weren't like challenging at all. But quite frankly, there could be double the number of brigands in each fight and I would still win like easily. I would just not do silly things like try to farm all that armor anymore. Um, but uh, this is the problem with Battle Brothers, uh, for me at least. And I recognize this is a 
sort of a victim of my own success. That's the problem. Uh, I did try pretty hard this game to snowball. And besides, like, the Day 17 loop around here where there are three fights I passed up on those big camps like the Orc Camp and the Chosen Camp, I fought everything the game threw at me. Literally everything. There were some, like, small patrols that I passed up because they were, like, beneath me. There were some contracts that were, like, too easy, like one skull and two skulls. But anything, like, if I passed up a battle, it was not because I thought it was... Besides those three, because I thought it was too hard, it was because, like, they were too easy for me. Uh, there was one battle I should not have done, exactly one, which was the Hexen plus Unhold, the day 18 or whatever. That was wrong. I think I had a 20 to 30% chance of wiping on that fight, and I should not have done it. Uh, but I got lucky, and I survived. Every other battle in this campaign, there was no RNG. Like, the worst that could happen was I lose a guy or two. Um... Everything else was like 100% or 99.999% like confident. Um, so, yeah. What can I do to make Battle Brothers interesting for me? Um, you saw the way I fought the Kraken, right? I knew what to do in the legendary fight. It's not the legendary fights, by the way. That's a hint as to what makes things interesting. I knew the requirements. I went in. If I got unlucky, I lost like two bros or whatever. Like, if Kyle got headshotted again and they focused down Doc Morphine or something like that. This is not a big deal. If I lost two guys, I just hire some more, right? Look at how much money I have and how much equipment I have. So that wouldn't be a challenge. Um, but anyway, enough talk. I will... This is the sort of, quote-unquote, official end of the campaign. But the neck, uh, but this series isn't done because I'm going to do a new series with this company, and it's going to be the like post game, the epilogue, if you would. Uh, it's not going to be a short epilogue either. I guess it'll be like the second chapter. And boy, are we going to have fun! Thank you for watching. Until next time.